and one of the most exciting discoveries is the presence of ice on the surface of the moon, which was revealed just a few weeks ago. Welcome back to Blue P. Anton. Nice to be Great here. Great to have you here. So what exactly has been found on the moon? They found tons and tons of water up there on the moon. It's uh, situated in craters around the north and the south pole, and the reason it's there is because this is where the sunlight can't get to. So, in fact, um, they, there's just water absolutely everywhere up there. So is it just like huge frozen lakes? Um, no, and in fact, that's a shame because there's nothing. You won't see anything if you go up to the moon. It's there in the soil of the rock. So but I mean, the good thing is, if there is water on the moon, does that mean there could be life on the moon? Well, it's not a case of Mars, right. I'm afraid. There's not running water there on the moon like there was on the Mars. The water in the moon came from large, giant so snowballs in space. Snowballs made of dust and gas that we know as comets, and they smashed into the moon, and there, the remnants are there in the craters. Right, so there's no life there at the moment, but I do know scientists are getting very excited at the possibility of maybe humans living on the moon in the future. Do you think that could be a possibility? Yeah, well, in fact, NASA think that the amount of water that's there could sustain about 2,000 people for over 100 years on the moon. Wow, that's it. I'm off to the estate agent to get my ticket. Hang on, Neil Armstrong. <laughs> hang on. But there's a few problems with going to the moon at the moment. It's getting the ice, getting the water from this soil. It's a very difficult process. Uh, once you've got it, of course, then you can have oxygen, then you can breathe. But of course, we're not going up in our big spacesuits like the astronauts did before, bouncing around on the moon. What we need are lunar bases. We need to make our own atmosphere right. so that we can live and work on the moon in nice surroundings with our shirts and everything. It would so be amazing, though, wouldn't it, living it is, on the moon? It is. It would be fantastic to go up there. I mean, looking at the, the people on the moon there, do you think it, there's a possibility that the moon could maybe be used as a staging post that you could then go on and explore other planets from the moon? Well, of course, not only can we get uh, water from the ice and oxygen to breathe, we can also get hydrogen. And hydrogen and oxygen together make fuel for rockets. So rockets could take off from the Earth, they could land on the moon, they could refuel there, and then they could take off and go further into space, maybe to places around the solar system, including Mars, where there's water, and Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. Mm -hmm. And of course, because there's water there, we can use that as a staging post, and then voyage of discovery around the universe from there so it's so endless really huge possibilities aren't there now i know there's been a lot in the papers over the last few days about an asteroid heading for the earth is is it a danger not at all they've recalculated everything the scientists from nasa's jet propulsion laboratory uh, they've been looking at all the figures and they've said it's not going to come anywhere near the earth initial uh, calculations show that it would be about 30,000 miles away. Now, in fact, it's going to be 600,000 miles away. So they say the probability of collision is zero. Right. So no need to worry. Blue Peter will go on forever. Well, that's all we were worried about. And we have it from NASA. And now we have it from Anton Van Blue. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks very much, Katie. Oh.